Hi everyone, welcome back to another great interview series. My name is Mihir, I'm from Vancouver, BC. And today I have the privilege to interview Trevor Houston from Texas. Hi Trevor, how are you doing? Hey, good, how are you? I'm doing great. Again, thank you for being here. Trevor is the guy that every job seeker should know. He empowers job seekers to rehumanize their job search in order to create opportunity and to take control of their financial impact of job loss. And according to his LinkedIn profile, and I quote him, you, the job seeker, are more valuable than the words on your resume and deserve for the world to see you as the expert you are. Again, Trevor, thank you for being here. So why did you choose that line? You know, because these job seekers, they got a hard time right now. I mean, they're applying online and their resume just goes in the black hole. They're going into cyberspace. And look, it's tough out there for a job seeker. It, it's a hard life for a job seeker right now, especially with COVID and, and the world is just, um, there's just so many more job seekers on the market right now. So, um, you know, I, I, I really truly feel that way. I feel like people are more valuable than the words on your resume. I feel like the the resume is an archaic way of doing business and transaction and, and transacting a, a business transaction and hiring somebody. I, I'm I'm actually against the whole um, job search process. I don't like the ATS. I'm against yeah. that. I think it's again it's archaic yeah. that you would try to put someone's value on two pieces of paper. Um, I agree with that. And with that sense, my first question will be like you mentioned about COVID. So how can job seekers stay? calm during this pandemic time just during this crazy time they just lost their job and and their lives was now upside down how can they stay calm while they're doing their job search well the first thing that you want to understand is that you know everybody was impacted by this in one way or another so just understanding that and then the second thing that you want to do is go get involved in some groups. You know, uh, there's many, many different job networking groups that are out there, depending on where you're located. But that's the beauty of what COVID did is now it doesn't matter where you're located. If you're in uh, Washington or if you're in California or if you're in, you know, uh, Florida, you can come join my group if you want to. And I'm here in Dallas, Texas. So there's all these groups that exist around the country. You just need to go find them plug in and what you'll find inside of there is this um, spirit of giving and, and support and encouragement and helping you so you don't feel alone. Mm -hmm. um, right now, the enemy would love nothing more than to make you feel isolated and to make you feel like you're alone and you, you're stuck and you can't get out. It's like quicksand. The harder you struggle, yeah. the quicker you sink, right? So right. you need people around you that can speak life into you and lift you up uh, when you're down right now and, and really to help you get back up on your feet. Yeah. And do you think that job seekers should kind of have an agenda or a schedule during their day so that they're not constantly applying or they're not constantly on Zoom eight or 10 hours? Yeah, 100%. Uh, you should see what my calendar looks like, right? I mean, it's color coordinated and like, I mean, I, I'm a very, very busy guy. And so the same thing comes into play when you're in job search. Um, you need to really be very, very organized with your time because if you're not, what ends up happening is it takes you longer to get landed yes. and all that time is money. Time is money, especially when you're in the job search. You have to look at it like that. So let's just say, for instance, uh, your job search, um, let's say you were making $120,000 a year, okay? Well, what's that per month? That's $10,000 per month, right? All right. So every month that it takes you to get landed is ten thousand dollars. Wow. So we got to get back to this. We got to get back to employment. Get back to our income flow and mm -hmm. and get there as soon as possible. So yes, your your calendar, the hundred percent. You need to control your calendar. Don't let it control you, because that's a waste of money. It may take even if it takes you one more month. That's ten thousand dollars you just wasted. Yeah, I totally agree. You should. They should have a schedule. They should follow up, and it's all about being persistent and being 
patient. I know sometimes it can be difficult, but we need to follow and have those goals set up. Again, Trevor, yeah. thank you for answering those questions. And for the audience watching and listening, if this is your first time, so I'm going to ask Trevor a couple of questions and I'll post them on a daily basis. It will be as if you are in a journey with us for the whole week. If you like any of the videos, like and share, make comments, and we're here to help you. And tune in next time for other questions with Trevor.